This episode is brought to you by Pulsar. Why is it? Is that red or pink? Are my eyes red? Tell me the reason why. I see a lot of people wearing it, and I okay, still don't know. Okay, yesterday, I had it yeah. because yesterday was Ganesh Chaturthi, and mm. I love Ganesh. He's my favorite. Nice. And surprisingly, a fan in India gifted me this, and since then I have it. That's really nice. Yeah, it's a beautiful piece. Nepal, I have never seen such. I mean, I wouldn't have gone and bought it. Mm. Such expensive stuff, but then yeah. I was blessed. And um, yeah, yesterday, uh, Ganesh Chaturthi. And my friend organized uh, puja, and I was there. And that's where it comes from. And that's really beautiful. Yeah, it's a protection cord. Me, me. I don't know how to say this. I, I've, I don't know what I believe in. When it comes to when it comes to a higher power, mm-hmm. I really don't know. Mm-hmm. At a young age, when I was born, of course, it's right on our face. Mm-hmm. This is what uh, these are the gods that you have to believe in, and you have to move forward. This is the path that you have to move forward towards. Mm-hmm. And as you move, as you grow older, mm-hmm. you start deciding on things. Mm-hmm. And I really don't know. You see, mm-hmm. when it when something is imposed on you then you seem to develop the tendency to resist things, yeah? But then, um, I'm not saying this out of my really, uh, to, p- <laughs> to exhibit my deep knowledge, so-called deep knowledge, not. I started believing in, in the invisible energy, hmm. the divine energy that is, um <clears throat> see, we exist in physical form, but there are many beings out there that are existing without the physical form. Hmm. And um, and the world is functioning on energy and frequency. You believe in that? Of course I do. Okay, that's it. You believe in that? You believe in everything. You believe in goodness. See, the purpose of the energy, the frequency that we come, um, come across or we try to align ourselves with, hmm. and we dedicate, we try to use that to bring goodness or... Add, add value in one's own life or in, in others' life or in everything that you want to do, things in their life, you know, whatever you need to do in order to, in the process of living life. So, but then now, you see, human, <coughs> I feel that human society or we as human nature is such a, when we, s- when we had an object mm-hmm. had to focus our mind into, it makes you feel comfortable. If you're, if you don't have a particular point, focal point, to, uh, to, to, ordinate home, oh. to mind like, too by now, you feel a little lost and unstable. Mm. So, so these deities, image of these deities, actually, I don't know if they really exist with the elephant head, you know elephant head or uh, lion head or so-called in, in Hinduism, many of the deities exist and their physical form appearance are such way presented or in Buddhism as well. Ma- we have many deities who's, who's has, who has a horse head on their head. Some, some of them has uh, lions or any, all, all these are symbolic, I feel to exhibit or to remind you or to transmit Mm -hmm. uh, that particular energy in you or invoke that particular quality of that specific animal or let's say, okay, I was explained by my, one of my teachers saying that uh, there's a deity that has a horse head and, um, and I said, does that really exist? Uh, Being such... with such a look, does it exist? And he said, no. Horse is an animal who's full of uh, his jealousy uh, energy is very strong. So having a horse head on that um, deity's head is, is a symbolic gesture of he, he the enlightened being, is, has overcome the, je- uh, the jealousy. Mm-hmm. And, okay, that's a symbolic thing. So when you uh, do sadhana, or the practice of that particular deity, you will be able to cultivate or enhance the energy for yourself to be able to overcome your negative energy, which is jealousy. 
Hmm. You know, that was how the logic was given, and I I like that. And then, as in Hinduism, also, and, and even in Buddhist, we we worship uh, Ganesh, Ganapati, yeah. and then uh, he's, he's a symbol of who in, uh, invokes uh, auspiciousness in oneself. And the moment you have auspiciousness in your heart or you're in mind, and the rest is taken care. Of. Any any unauspicious will never, you know bring that energy or prevail or spread that energy mm-hmm. you know once because the auspicious energy takes over you know subdues the <laughs> inauspicious energy so true. yeah so i think these are just a symbolic you know thing you need to learn to translate uh, the essential uh, meaning of it rather than just uh, being carried away or being distracted by the uh, outer look as it says, the don't judge a book by its cover, right? Yeah, yeah. So I think that's how we can apply these things in our life. So true. Personally, for me, I, I believe I'm grabbed by light. That is why I believe a lot in the sun and the moon. Mm-hmm. The nature. Yeah. Yeah. All right, keep it right here. Thank you very much. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, you good? Sun and the moon, because for me personally, when I when I see light, when I see the sun, it brings a spark in me. There's there's a spark in me that that makes me feel alive. But that's, when there's that's why Surya Devata, oh. Devata, you see, forgive me if I sound too <laughs> academic or anything. I'm not oh. like that. But what I learned, mm-hmm. Devata is someone who gives. So sun gives life to us. Yeah. You know. So Devata, Surya Devata, Varun Devata, Agni Devata, Unsani. Huh. So these nature is what, and our body is consist, con, uh, consistent, mm-hmm. uh, consist of, consisting Consist. of five elements. Hmm. And um, when the external elements are imbalanced, our physical elements start to Im- feel imbalanced as well. Like that's when we lack the sunlight, we feel depressed, we feel low, and then uh, vitamin D deficiency starts yeah, oh. to <laughs> ex- be experienced. And that means depression, you know, if you feel negative of things, you feel lethargic, and your bone starts to uh, grow weak and so mm-hmm, on. Mm-hmm. So that's how nature actually complements our existence or our, our physical form of our body. Mm-hmm. What is this? Chia. It's chia. Yeah. Mm. Okay, all right, let's not stop. Let's not Let's not do all this. We're done. Let's just log it up. We're good. So, um, I think everything. So, in Buddhism, we say, may we all be able to enjoy happiness and the causes of happiness. So, the causes of happiness is external, internal, and secret. Mm-hmm. That's how you define, I feel. And uh, throughout the, my life, uh, in the process of growing and living and so on, I try to analyze things mm. with the nature, with my simple common sense. And I feel like, okay, nowadays the world is talking about ecosystem, environmental protection and so on. It is so important. If we harm the nature, the ecosystem, we harm ourselves. If you really care about yourself, mm. you need to care about the external environment as well. That's what I realized. And then I said, okay, yes, I care about myself. Mm, of course. <laughs> of course. Of course. No no doubt on that. I wish everybody I wish everybody gave it a thought about let's say when when you when you turn on the television or when you turn on some kind of news or you open something like that the negativity is right in the beginning you see disatis- mm-hmm. dissatisfaction disappointments are something that is really prevailing so ra- so much in speed hmm. and then the brainwash that has taken place in such a way that ours the uh, the the, the, the um, how do you put it i really lack the right word sometimes in order to set up your status, mm-hmm. y- where you stand, is very much um, done with who you are, friends around you are. I mean, who you are associated with, who, what kind of gadgets you carry, and what brand you wear, and what kind of car you drive, and you know, 
who's your uncle or who's your father mm. and so on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that is so sad these days. And that's where people start to be believing, you know. And that's the sad part. And then that's where they say, okay, my my parents are not good parents because they don't give me iPhone. Or my parents are not good because they didn't send me to such and so and so a school. Mm. So that's the sad part. When I see these people, trust me, I see these people. Trust me, <laughs> I do. I do, trust me. When I see these people, I feel sorry for them. I feel sorry for somebody Instead who... Instead of you feeling sorry for them, let's start with be grateful that you're not doing that. Oh, yeah, so let's true. Let's rejoice about the fact that we are, at least a little bit of a common sense, we are a cap- I mean, able to use it. You know, there's a mm-hmm. saying, I often use that to tell people about myself and sometime where I, where I ended up end up speaking about something and then and then later on I feel a little bit sh- uh, embarrassed of speaking <laughs> too much and I f- end up saying that please forgive me if I sound stupid but then when a stupid speaks the intelligent learns mm, well said yeah so the stupid people should not be the one to be pointed finger on mm. they are there they exist but that doesn't mean for you to be, you know, poking them for being or laughing at them f- for being stupid, as according to you. Mm. But maybe <laughs> they don't think like that. They may be happy with themselves. Mm. Who are you to, you know, validate that about them? But then let's rejoice on the fact, feeling that, okay, I'm not that stupid. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God I'm one step ahead. <laughs> wow. Wow. That, that definitely changed my perspective. <laughs> I, I had, of course, ma'am. I had a lot of, uh, I had a lot of. Uh, so in the beginning of when I started this podcast, I had a lot of. Uh, I was lazy, you know. I had okay. a lot of plastic bottles here. I had a lot of plastic bottles here because we're drinking water in plastic bottles, and yeah. just um, you know, it's so easy to bring in the bottles and just just put it right here, so you can just pop it open and just go for a drink. I had a very good uh, friend of mine. His name is uh, Kashi Slash Resta. He's very, uh, he's very well known on Twitter. Uh, he was over and then he goes like, we're talking about climate change, we're talking about so many different things. We're talking about, um, you know, uh, a project that Nepal government was working on where they were working on this airport that they had to uh, chop down a lot of trees. Um, mm. And uh, we're talking about that. And then Kashis looks at uh, the plastic bottles and he goes like, just use cups. Like the way you just said it. Mm-hmm. You know, I'll never forget that. I'll never forget this for the rest of my life. You know, rather than rather than saying, sorry for that person, just rejoice on what you have and what you're grateful towards. You know, and uh, just look at the good side in life. So I, have all, I believe in this. When you point, point one finger at a person, uh, the remaining other fingers point back at you. That's very true. And that's how nature functions, actually, to be honest. Hmm. Um, I feel really blessed that I had the teacher who really helped me to see myself before I see others, you know. Yeah. I mean, in the context of seeing your own faults and your weaknesses and so on, because no, as we all say, we are, nobody's perfect. But uh, instead of you wasting your time and energy on pointing others to weaknesses and mistakes, why not you point that to yourself, take the time to see what's wrong in me mm. and then find ways how I can improve myself. Because th- once you improve, you're the you're the one who will be benefited the first, hmm. and then you add the value to the others around you. Time is something that um, once gone, it's never going to come back. Yeah, that's very true. It's impermanent. That's what yeah. Buddha, Buddha's teaching is about. You know, impermanence. Yeah. Nothing lasts forever. The same. One day we are gone. After 50 or 60 years, imagine mm. you and me. Will you, do you think that we will be on this table? At least I'm that? not going to be around. <laughs> I wish you were still going to be there. No. <laughs> <laughs> None of us. Yeah. Neither the His Majesty the King, uh, you know, former king, or neither Prachandaji, who claims himself to be, you know, the, the champion of the revolution in Nepal, who, KP Oliji, who... He's the president of Emali, so-called Emali. And then Congress go Deobaji. And all these people who are so strongly into themselves saying that we are the one now. But at least I'm really uh, happy to hear that, okay, uh, Gebiology is really making point, okay, now the next generation to, should take over. 
Mm. I'm really happy to s- hear that. Otherwise, you see, we Prithvi Naran Shah, we read about him, but he doesn't exist now. He probably once once was the most powerful being on this in this nation. You know, you you think of many of you know nobody's there. The the pop king Michael Jackson, he's not here now. He was. So similarly, you and I, mm. we will not be here forever. There's a time frame there. The only unfortunate thing is we don't know the the size of the time frame. But the reality is that we do, we are bounded within a time frame. Mm. And then within this short period of time frame, we ended up doing things that didn't really add value to your existence or add meaning to your existence here. And you wasted your time all the time agitate, feeling agitated or agitating others. Yeah, yeah sometimes I feel very stupid, these things. Myself. I mean, I'm talking about myself. I'm now. I'm, I don't stand anywhere to point, pinpoint anyone to anyone. But um, yeah, recently I watched a movie called Good Doctors. Yeah. What is it about? It's about l- doctors in medical field. Mm, mm. How doctors uh, think and perform and uh, functions and and then during that, uh, <coughs> it was a web series on Netflix. Oh. And I really liked it. And um, what I was so impressed with or touched me most is that there were many patients who came and came with a disease cancer nowadays we are like when we hear the word cancer it traumatizes us and i was like wow these people who who has cancer they know their time frame the yeah. size of their time frame yeah it's wonderful if i know <coughs> that um next month i have to go on certain such and such date to a USA, I'll start making my preparation. Mm, of course, you know, yeah. You know, I, I'll, I'll, s- I'll start store sorting out things that what I want to carry and what I don't want to carry. <laughs> True, I know. I'm, I'm doing that right now. <laughs> <laughs> so if I would have known the date and the time of my departure, it would have been like so wonderful. I would have started sorting out things. But the problem is that we don't know the exact date. Mm. So sometimes we like feel like, oh, I have time. So that's the sad part. We fool ourselves thinking that we have time. I function in a way that I don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, in, in the context of uh, living life immortally, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For me personally, right now, I've right, uh, thanks to this pandemic, I don't know why. COVID did teach me a lot of lessons in life. All the lessons that I was supposed to learn, maybe I learned it in a very slow pace. Uh-huh. But when COVID hit, uh-huh. I learned my lessons in a very fast pace. I was like, "All right, here we go. If you do not, if you do not get everything together, uh-huh. then forget about COVID consuming me. It's gonna be my own brain consuming me." So, so COVID taught me a lot of lessons, and one of the lessons that COVID taught me, that I believe, that the biggest one of the biggest lessons that COVID taught me was. If you do not function to the, your ultimate capacity, you have to function. You have to function and you have to make sure that the people around you, the people who are surrounding you as well, are all positive ones. So get rid of all the negative people in your life and uh, function as more as you can and just focus on all the positivity. That is that is something that COVID taught you me see, a lot. Uh, me being so fortunate to be mm-hmm. able to be in the practice of, I mean, following the path of Buddha and uh, listening to his teaching, yeah. learning and uh, contemplating his teachings in my life. Um, one most powerful thing that I, I mean, I'm still in practice. I mean, I don't mean to say that now I'm an expert on it, but uh, it really helped me a lot. It's all about how you perceive things in your life. Yeah. There's no such thing as a negative outside. What do Negativity you mean? is mm-hmm. in you. How you are able to perceive any incidents, good or bad, whatever you call it. But then the once you are able to cultivate that uh, capacity in you to be able to perceive them correctly, even the bad can be a good one to you. I mean, like 
as you just mentioned, you know, the COVID time. Though every, most of the people all over the world are cursing about it, you know, crying about it. But you're saying, like, I've learned a lot. Yeah. So that's how you perceive it. And it's all in your mind how you perceive them. You know, how you take them. And that's exactly how I did it. I was cl- actually complaining and crying occasionally. I wouldn't say, I can't afford to complain all the time, but then occasionally I was crying about it, not having enough time to be in Nepal. Mm-hmm. I'm tra- I was traveling like crazy, and then I was like, what do you wish? I said, oh, I wish I can have more longer period of time to spend in Nepal. Oh, I wish I can go on retreat, isolated retreats. And that's exactly what my my prayers were answered, and yeah. you know, and that's what I could do during this last almost two years. So when I say I'm really happy about the pandemic, of course it might not sound good for others, but uh, personally, yeah. as an individual, it was a blessing in disguise. I mean, touch wood, I w- didn't come across mm. <laughs> the v- COVID nineteen virus. Yeah. I am still protected till now, but then, of course, that doesn't mean I don't have my uh, care and concern towards my fellow beings around me. I did what I could do within my capacity, and I'm happy that I could do it. Hmm. At least I could do try to do it. You yeah. know, you can't take care of everyone, but at least I can try to take care of some. You know, and that's what I could do. And and yeah, then you live with it. Yeah. No doubt on that. Yeah. You, you don't have a choice, and like you said, it's a blessing in disguise. It sure. it it more it made me more grounded. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, and that's what I really feel also about mm. myself. Uh, going through many different kind of uh, experiences in life, you know. The more I I grow older mm-hmm. or wiser, or you whatever, however you put it, I feel really humbled, of, uh, being able to experience all of these things. What I've experienced in life. Good or bad. Yeah. 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 It really doesn't matter. Mm. At the end of the day, how do you see this is something that everybody keeps asking me, you know, how can you stay so positive when uh, there's ki- so much chaos around us mm. all the time? Mm-hmm. All the time. Mm. Forget about domestic chaos. If we turn on something, there's international chaos happening mm-hmm. all the time time mm-hmm. how do you try to stay as positive as you can what's you see, your mantra it's never, on this? it's never possible to mm. be positive all the mm-hmm. time that's mm-hmm. that's not true yeah. yeah you know as long as you're a human being unless you're enlightened already oh, <laughs> yes <laughs> or unless you're a totally a, you know inhuman yeah <laughs> or yeah. rock or <laughs> anything <laughs> like that as long as you you function with your emotion your emotions are there Disappoints mar- disappointments are there, and especially in this modern civ- civilization where mm. we are so addicted towards uh, quick gratification in everything we want to, you know, have in everything that we do. Quick gratification is the biggest problem. We don't want to be patient. Mm. It is obvious. We feel down. We feel feel low. We feel disappointed. We are not happy. That's natural. But then. Don't let that carry you too far. Hmm. You know, that's the mantra, actually. And then to be able to analyze that uh, feeling and being aware of that feeling, what you're going through. And then see, oh. see if you can learn to just like kill on it, the emotion on it. No, 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 That's what I found. And a lot of the time, that's what I try to practice. And of course, the meditation practice. So being aware of what you're feeling, what you're doing, what you're saying, what you're thinking. And... They say, well, Bani Bos Neo. So it's, it's very natural to feel bad. It's mm. okay. Mm. But don't get carried away by your feeling bad. <laughs> and don't do punish <laughs> others for you feeling bad. <laughs> 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 and then that's where the problem starts, when you start to punish others for you feeling bad, I think. The thing about, I've heard a lot of, I've heard people talking about it. I, I don't understand it. Talking to yourself. I like, I like explaining things to myself, saying, hey, it's going to be okay. Yeah, I do too. 
You do do. I do. These are the things. These are the steps that you need to. I need to take. Let's say. Let's say I'm in. Let's say great things are happening in my life. Mm-hmm. Let's say. Let's say I'm. I'm excelling in things. Whatever I'm doing. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm. Let's say I'm heading towards the apex. I say to myself, don't forget your roots, buddy. Don't forget where you came from. Mm-hmm. Don't forget your friends. Mm-hmm. Don't forget uh, these mm-hmm. things. You know, mm-hmm. I've. I've kept. Speci- I have specific things in my house to remind me of where I came from. Mm-hmm. You know, that's very important to me. Sometimes we tend to forget talking to ourselves. The the demon in us takes over and we think that we're invincible. That's what I meant. When don't be carried away by that bad feeling too long. <laughs> so so that's, that's what it meant, feeding your demon too long. I mean, when you start to let that bad feeling, you know, drive your life, then yeah. that's where the demon stands in, eating you up. I wanted to ask you something. How how does it feel when you meet the Dalai Lama? Well, I met him, I think, twice or thrice. Mm, yeah. Of course, he is a really highly enlightened being. That's how we consider him as, you know, yeah. his, at his age and his knowledge, his wisdom and so on. It's, it's very soothing to even to think of him, you know. So uh, besides that, I don't know how to really explain him. Mm. But uh, as being an enlightened being, I mean, and he's, he's he's got a very motherly energy. Oh, that you? When was this? Ah, uh, yeah, this was in two thousand one. Two thousand one. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, I was so blessed. Such a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> it's like twenty years ago. Yeah. <laughs> twenty exactly twenty yeah. years ago. I, I don't know. I don't think I if, Do you remember seeing this picture? Yeah, yeah, it was in his in his room. Actually. Yeah, yeah. How is it in his presence, though? What what, what do you feel? You see, uh, yeah. when we are not with him, we yeah. we we fantasize of th- how it will be. Yeah. But then once you're with, you're near to him, you feel very comfortable, and you feel the warmth, and uh, you know, the preconceptualized. Uh, you know, think of, of how it will be. That is more like a mm, uh, quite an agitating feeling. You know, mm. you feel nervous and so on. But once you're there with him, you feel good. I mean, you feel comfortable. It, it's not like we imagine things, you know. Yeah. So I felt very blessed. World leaders, you met, you, you met, well, you met le- a majority of the leaders in our country. You've met a lot of other leaders as well. Anybody that you've met uh, that you, you've been like, oh, okay, very interesting. Well, I don't, I'm not much of a, think, a thinker like that, you know. Yeah. Whoever I come across, uh, sometimes y- your inner voice feels good about this person yeah, and... Yeah. You, f- in, you don't need to really con- have a conversation. You feel good just seeing this person. You know, you you feel the transmission, you mm. know, that energy towards you. I think you enjoy that. But m- every time I come across great teachers, great masters, I'm in Nepali, Siddha Puru Sarun, Guru Aru, Adhyatmi Guru, not uh, the school teacher guru. Um, your whole body f- can feel the vibration, you know, and then and st- tears starts rolling down, not even realizing why these tears are rolling down, but the deep joy, sense of deep joy is there. Yeah. You feel like you're being cleansed and you feel so good and then you, you feel like you want to cry. But n- the cry is not, a, not, a, n- not about sadness that you feel. It's about the joy you feel. Without being um, fabricating, I mean, you don't really think about it. It just happens. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I feel like. Oh, I wish I can become like them, and that's what I'm praying every day. May I be be able to really cultivate or my con- com- the power of my compassion, or or develop my wisdom to their level, so that I will be able to, you know. Be like them. Yeah. Who 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 do you think is there? Is there a figure, or is there is there? Yeah, I've come across many yeah. great masters, great teachers. You know, I mean, for the first of all, I my own teacher. So he has really transmitted all these uh, positivity in me, the way I think, the way I do th- 
things. I try to do things. I don't. Having said that, don't, I don't mean to claim that I do everything perfectly or I have no problem or anything like mm. that. I do have problem. I still do carry my weaknesses. I'm still struggling with my hypocrisy, and I'm still trying to correct things in my life. Yeah. But uh, I'm doing it with deep joy. Yeah. Yeah. So because of them. Being able to be around such great masters like uh, my guru and many other gurus are there. We, I, f- I personally feel Nepal are, we even call it Deva Bhumi. When Punya Bhumi, Bhavan Buddha Janmi Kuthalo, Punya Bhumi, Deva Bhumi, Devi Devtai, Devi Devta Kuthalo, Dehrecha Amrama. But then how many of us are able to feel them? We only go there to do sauda. Sauda Bazi Gorsu, Devi Devta can go here and Sauda Bazi Gorsu, Rajnitik Dalka Nedar can go here and Sauda Bazi Gorsu. But then we forget or we, are, we aren't able to learn to feel them, these Devi Devta. Wahar kutu divine energy lam, they feel good. Do hami bitra pani cha hai. All we need is to get tuned to it. The tune nai gornu janiya chai na. Hami sanga tiyo antenna chau vana rupani kati li buji rakhya chai na. Kati maan chali tiyo tuning ku process of tuning rai tiyo technique lai eh andha viswas vana rai hedi rakhya on cha. And that's where I feel like that's sad. But on the other, on the contrary, we are so blessed. Hmm. And that's where I, f- where I, I stand today to f- feel like that. Mai li sansar gumiya chua. Huh. I've been to the most uh, powerful ca- nation, so-called the powerful nation, such as USA, to uh, China, uh, and I've really, really enjoyed my best luxurious, so-called luxurious thing, uh, status of my existence in those countries, not having to struggle with where will I stay and where what will I eat and so on. Every time I come back to Nepal, Mm. The vibration that I feel is so humbling and so like re- real ground ma take as the feel on the frequency for and um energy but I'm in my own safe zone feel yeah. also. Right? To, yeah, I I <laughs> I might sound crazy no. when I speak about these things because I don't know how many of people out I mean um, I don't know how many of them are out there who can have little alignment with my feeling. <laughs> well, well, I got a bit. Uh, uh-huh. I'm going to be honest with you. I I've, uh-huh. I've traveled just a bit in my life, uh-huh. not as much as you. Mona sa Kathmandu for gera hai bhai. You have no sort. Yeah. This is where I belong. Av tu to av कम से कम त्यो त आफ्नो हो भन्ने फिलिङ त आफ्नो ठाउँमा छ किनभने आफू जन्मेको थलो आफू हुर्केको ठाउँ आफ्नो मेरो भन्ने भो मेरो देश मेरो घर मेरो खाट मेरो लुगा मेरो धारा मेरो टोयलेट भन्ने भो त त्यो भन्दा पनि अझ माथि जुन द स्पिरिचुअल एनर्जी दैट वी रियली हैव रियली रियली डू आई विश पीपल क्यान फील दैट त्यो फ्रिक्वेन्सी त्यता तेरा अलग के ट्यूनिंग करने कोशिश मात्रा लागन सके वाने ओके फर्स्ट टाइम ते तीन नवला दूसरों चुटी कोशिश कर रहा था तीसरों चुटी ते तीस ता तेर तेरा तेरा बाटो देखा होने पनी गुरु और को पनी कमी छाई ना हमरों मा अब वो जो गुरु एकदम ही एनानोमेसली बसी रहन वाला सा � Ailiko modern civilization just the home delivery the Hudaina. I know Ailipo, your modern civilization where everything is com- is about consumerism and, and so on. You pay money and you have it but Nikal put the source like Basira has a mamro. Tra reality Amro Purbazar Kudzamana Mata Pani Pias Lagivani Kumaka Afi Janavar servants and Kosno Afi Janavar this day or other. Sadhguru ko sarana hami li saanchi chahe ko ra tiyo tiyo divine energy, the spiritual energy aaf maa tiyo invoke garao na ya tiyo enhance garao na lai aaf li saanchi ki feel gare a cha vane khos na varsa guru aru. And that's where I feel so blessed. Mai li gaar chhoare ra bhaage ko tau tara mai li tiyo saran paai. And shai tiyo na paako bai maa 
I would be one of the same person here where we I would be complaining about everything, about myself, about people mm. around me, about everything that I do. Yeah. You consider yourself lucky? I feel very blessed. Yeah. Very blessed. Pointing fingers <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, um, I'm at a stage of life and age where I I really feel so humbled and I feel the deep joy to think that how blessed I am. What have I done to deserve such a Hmm. delicious meal and the opening cost to my only cause of and I had the wonderful opportunity to get lost in the jungle. I literally got lost. Beautiful. That was the most unplanned, spontaneous, adventurous, but yet very spiritual experience I had. A lily dar, a lily maza, a lily confusion, a lily challenge. The mixture of mm-hmm. all these emotions uh, that I went through. But then the above all, the best was that I was so accepting towards these experiences you know? and it was over of course <laughs> it didn't last too long <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah I really got to experience deeply deeply every little pores of my body was able to f- um, enjoy the freshness in the, op- in the air the, the pureness in the river of the water in the river the sound of the birds and that every plant every tree they whispered. And paila paila you used to kosaili you could have bayan garda kid. I used to feel like it's the romantic film. And I literally felt that. The filmy kura jun pu paila paila yeah and say the filmy way they go one yet. This to lack to is pali moili sachike feel gari. I really in fact I even explained to some of my friends saying that I'm in love with that place now. Not in that particular way, in that specific place where I stad- stayed, but that environment. And I feel like, oh, how blessed I am. I can afford that luxury. Mm. In 21st century, the best luxury is to be with nature. To be able to live naturally, mm. simply. To luxury, I mean, to... If you can afford, yeah, then you're really rich. So true. Yeah, and I very much look forward every time. I'm like missing that environment, and um, at times I feel like I'm really in love. Do feel When I talk mm-hmm. about this, this, these experiences, this, these, in that particular environment, my eyes sparkles. My my tone changes, my heartbeat changes, you know. Yeah, Born I can see it in your eyes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I am very much in it. And I keep on looking for how can I plan for a longer one. Hmm. Yeah. This, there's a saying, they say that when you're lost, Yeah, true, very true. That's very true, I think. point mm. We get to a point mm. when we realize, oh, I was doing something different. フレームサーナーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサーサ
all, every individual is carrying a frame, photo frame. Because there are two frames book it answer. And the moment this person sees you, he will immediately put the frame in the front of you to fit in his frame. <laughs> no? Yeah. And some people has very small frame. The moment you don't fit in his frame, and this person feels agitated. Hmm. But the reality is you don't necessarily have to fit in that frame. You are who you are. Yeah. Right? And koi man si sang tulo frame on sa uli liyong sa this person feels a lot of space within that frame and you fit in there and you he even sees that I can fit in more mm. and this person feels so good about you yeah so that's how we are we are always walking around with a frame but then how we should be is like someone who's hanging a mirror on your chest necklace just well imagine we are hanging a mirror no the moment I see you, I see myself. Nice. I look at you, but I don't see you. I see myself in that mirror. Hmm. Reflection of me in you. And you see yourself in me. Your reflection is in me. And that's how ex- it explains. Did you get me? I, I, completely, <laughs> I completely get you. No, I completely yeah. get you. I completely get you. Okay. I'm and glad that no, no. you do. Of course. Uh, so that's how I feel we should try to become. The dilemma is that mm-hmm. many of us has only small size of frame. Very small size. Very small. We, where you, you yourself even can't fit in. And that's where you feel suffocated, depressed. You feel worthless and so on. That's the sad part. So... The practice of Buddhism, meditating, um, trying to getting into um, little spiritual development, you know. The world is so strongly into culti- uh, developing our intellectual capacity mm. to the point where we become almost like a machine, you know, robotic. But then very much uh, ignored to cultivate or develop our spiritual capacity. And su- spiritual capacity is like being able to hang that mirror on your neck. Hmm. Where your t- whole chest is filled with that size of a mirror. So everyone sees, c- is able to see themselves in you. Hmm. And the moment you see yourself in that person, you feel so comfortable and you feel so good about yourself. You feel safe. Yeah. Yeah, so I think that's what Buddha's teaching is about. Helping us to be able to see yourself in others. So then, beautiful. Yeah. Mero yore geet pani sa testay. Jannu bhani ko ki ho baba, buznu bhani ko ki ho. Kohi lai aru dekta inan afu dekne le. Durga Lal Dai wrote it so beautifully, so beautifully. And then he equally beautifully composed by Neji. <laughs> Your friendship has uh, been intact for such a long time. Yes. These guys are blessing in my life. Mm. And then, uh, as I mentioned earlier, when I, uh, when I enjoy a good, delicious meal, and where I think like, wow, what did I do to deserve this delicious yeah. meal? And it, s- similarly, I feel about these people in my life. Yeah. How about Steve? Steve Tibbet, of course. He's one of the really the men actually. He transformed your life. Very much. He he made me realize that I can sing, <laughs> <laughs> and I can be. I have the potential be do, to be called as a singer internationally. I should mm-hmm. say, new ji wale nationally. Afno afno manchir ko mazma, or an afno Nepali bahasa ma, or a saral bahasa ma mithas ka saath maile Buddha darshan lai paskau ne chhamata maile waar ko soir bada mile. Tera Steve Tibbet is the one who actually what I sing is, uh, is something that the world will enjoy one no. nihal and he sh- showed me the path oh there you go yeah, there you that was this. your first album right yeah no 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 this is oh, second this was uh, sorry this was the second second one. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah six, de- six Degrees Record Company uh, published as a band uh, whole morning I was I uh, so generally what I do is I wake up in the morning the first thing that I do is uh, 
I light up an incense. Uh, I buy incense from a very specific a specific shop in both. Okay, daily bunny to daily bars of basic. You know, a specific toy. You know, to Kora got that. You left Zani Bitti or a specific shop. So they are daily bunny daily bars of money. Kine go. I light an incense and then I listen to. But Spotify, man, there's a lot of lot of things that you can get yeah. on Spotify. You know, uh, this morning I was listening to uh, your uh, your albums, you know, and uh, again, uh, it's it's you just turn it on, and that's it. That's it. You don't have to put anything else on. You know. Well, I feel blessed. That's how Steve has really presented that, uh, mm. packaged it mm. that way. Uh, for me, it was just what I sang in the monastery. It was nothing new for me. Um, yeah, but then he really. He's a blessing in my life. Yeah. He made me realize that I can make money. <laughs> 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 he he made your I I, th- I thank you. I definitely thank him as well. In the world map. Mm. You're there. Yes, because of him. True. Very true. Kinavani. When the first album was uh, released, it was all over the world. Yeah. Those days, um, two two record companies or two two record uh, shops are around here. Yeah, that's what I'm You're nineties, go Yeah, early, early. Early mid. Yeah, yeah, mid 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 nineties. Yeah, the first year in 1997, could January, my the CD published bar, and um, and I remember him sending me uh, photocopies of all the reviews that he received from different well-reputed magazines mm-hmm. around the world, such as those days I really had not n- not a little bit of an idea what <laughs> those really meant. Now, Azagadinma Rolling Stone magazine means like, wow. Yeah. yeah. Musical magazine means wow. Vogue, Cosmopolitan, you name them. Yeah. 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 All those reputed magazines or my reviews my ramro cd ko reviews niskeko uli print garera lyako etti baklo thyo malai pathai diya tar tesko swad pachi malai thabo shuru ma i i had no idea really what it meant the first time usle mala first cd record garda her mala 2000 us dollar diyeko kura madar ali swad la thyo yeah how important is money it is but uh, not everything that same you feel like money is everything can be the cause of he- your headache as well. That's what I've realized. People, again, I'll get back to our conversation. People see you and people people judge as well. Yeah, that's that's natural, actually. Yeah. That means I exist. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. <laughs> yeah. And anybody who is trying to do something different, more time. Very regular norm, and then you know, a regular norm, and then you know, that society, literally, but any heady rako is really on a person. This is the way how it should be. Revolution at the um, beginning mm-hmm. always shocks people, it makes people feel uncomfortable. Revolution more suru de hina ali bidroi so gapkayo. Though I became a nun, and I'm supp- uh, according to the conventional idea of a Buddhist nun, I'm supposed to be shy, calm, you know, silent. No. But then I was very loud and clear to the world, not only to the world, but then to my own people around me, starting from my own family. I was very clear. I don't want to have this life. I want to be free from this painful life. And I took refuge in the Nagi Gompa yeah. to my gurus, Saran. And there as well, I exhibited my mindset, my my personality, very loud and clear. Some of them didn't like me, but of course many was okay. Many didn't even understand me. Mm. And But then above all, the most important thing, my guru actually understood me yeah. and my potential, my capacity, how different I am. And then later on, I had the opportunity to share that to larger <laughs> audience. <laughs> audience. Yeah. And many audience, they were shocked and very uncomfortable. But there were many who said, oh, wow. And many didn't even know what it really meant. So starting with um, driving a car, it was a very symbolic gesture for me to feel that control of my own steering wheel where Mm. I want to turn my destiny towards being the driver of my own life and at the same time like 
I don't know if you have if you ever have heard about it. Um, I was once upon a time the best salsa dancer, female salsa dancer in the town. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And I never hesitated to exhibit that in those days, which I did later. I realized, okay, mm. took a break from salsa. No, it's I wouldn't say a break, but mm. then I said, okay, this Gordina. And but I continued singing. Hmm. And then I said, okay, this is Ramro Gacha. 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 And then I said, okay, this is Now we know what hmm. you're singing. It's so wonderful. Thank you, Ramro Gacha. And I, the most surprising part is once um, I Spain in Spain, I said, Ani, can I speak to you? I said, yes. I just wanted to say, please forgive me. Hmm. I said, why? There was a time I used to criticize a lot about you. But now I feel very good about you. And I, I said, thank you. But then that didn't mean much for me. Hmm. I was the same 20 years ago. Same today, the way I think and the way I do things. Of course, of course, uh, speed ali kambal. <laughs> <laughs> As I'm growing older, aging is something that is there. But then, ziddi, ram, yeah, afne logic words also. But then, what I really believe in is being kind and thoughtful. It's completely okay to be different. Yeah. That's that's what I meant to say. You know, I'm yeah. very different. Yeah. I don't mind to you know be comfortable. I like being comfortable. I like I enjoy being comfortable. And then some people says, "Oh, Ani Vaira, nah, come on." Yeah, I'm a human being. Of course. I never said I give up my comfort. If you're not different, you'll never be able to achieve the things that you want to achieve. You have to be slightly see, different. The um, achievement is such that it's very momentum, hmm. you know. And um, my achievement right now is, is such a comfortable conversation that is being carried on, yeah. you know, with yeah. you. Yeah. I'm feeling very comf comfortable, the subject we're talking about. That's my achievement. Being able to, you know, achieve that. Yeah. If I'm agitated or I'm not, uh, I feel discomfort during this conversation, that's where I fail. So in my life, there's never a set goal of so-called achievement. But I, I carried on with my life to live as I want to live. Hmm. If I wouldn't have thought about, uh, agreed to come for this conversation, I have the freedom to choose, say no. Of course. And I have been able to achieve that power in my life, to say no. No, no. Yeah. I, I had difficulty saying no. Hmm. But I now have the power to say no. <laughs> I learned this. Uh, I learned this uh, at a very young age okay? uh, within my family. I don't know why I want to share this right now. Costumes, uh, Raisa, different runo is completely fine, Raisa. Okay? A lot of yeah. people don't get it at a very young age, right? Now. My mother moved on uh, from a specific relationship at one point in her life, very early on, right? Mm -hmm. you know? I was I, I looked at my mother and I was like, Wow. You were so brave. When I look at my father and my father and my, my father and my mother's relationship, I look at both of them and I'm like, My father is brave too. So I was born in a household of very brave people. So to brave man go household my don't make automatically mm -hmm. I've had a habit uh, since the beginning of time to be like, Sokhi Alin Sani Gorna. If you put your mind to it, mm -hmm. anything is possible in this true, world. Very true. I mean, uh, of course, your example, the Siddhartha Gautam Bhagavan, Buddha Bani, Buddha to Prapti Gari. That is the extreme <laughs> achievement, uh, so called. Otherwise, sky is the limit, as it says. Yeah. Infinite possibilities. 
मैले एउटा मुवी हेरेको थिएँ एन्ड आई रियली लाइक द्याट मुवी सो मच कस्तो नाम बिर्सेको को थियो अम विल फाइन्ड इट या इट्स सच अ वन्डरफुल मुवी इट्स इट द टेक्निकल एक्सप्लेनेशन अफ इट इज अबाउट हामीले परापूर्वकालमा सिद्ध सन्तहरु एकदमै वर्कसँग म्याजिकल पावर थिए भन्ने खालको नि त्यो हामी जुन बयान गर्छौ नि त्यो एक्चुअली हामीसँग त्यो पोटेन्सियल हामीमै रहेछ के हाम्रो न्युरोन सेल्सको जुन फुल क्यापासिटीमा हामी ग्रोन हुन सक्यो भने इन बुद्धिज्म वी से रेनबो बडी अचीभ गर्छम भन्छम रेनबो बडी या हाम्रो यो भौतिक शरीर यही जन्ममा यू क्यान ट्रान्सफर्म देम देम इन्टु रेनबो भन्ने छ के दिस आर नट जस्ट यु नो द द इमेजिनेशन होइन रहेछ के त्यो मुभीले टेक्निकली एक्सप्लेन गरे मलाई and have you seen a movie called inception of course i have i love that movie because no that's where amru uh, sansar maya vi sansar vancha ni mm. it's it's like dream it's like in mirage and dream within the dream bhanne the inception ma technical explanation juncha ni i mean let's not go with the intention and then the the war the fight and so on mm. and that is the, the technical jun presentation cha ni dream within the dream how you control your dream yeah and then in specific point that i remember so clearly where the main character ko usko wife ra bachcha dream mai aljhya cha ke no and they 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 are holding on to that dream as their reality yeah and then but then he the main character realizes that this is not the reality reality hami dream but of bahar niskino ho and then he sees he cannot bring his wife and child out of that dream and that causes him pain a lot of pain yeah and that's out of his love for them so these things explains to me about uh, the i mean uh, i don't know if <laughs> i no, should no, no. really get into this no no that's completely fine i'm afraid that uh, i might sound uh, too carried away i mean kind of कुरा we're stuck in a box yeah you know yeah. we're stuck in a box i don't know if this is the reality or this is a dream i don't know what's going to happen when we when when we move on in life yeah. when we move on to the next step of our life mm-hmm. i i don't know which, again I'll, i'll jump into religion i don't know which one this is but there are two aspects to it i love the idea of being born again i love the idea of being mm-hmm. born again mm-hmm. the idea of death i like this i don't know which teaching this is i think it's somewhere in uh, buddhism i believe when you when you're gone mm-hmm. your body is given away in very different ways as according to my teacher says i'm le pancha tattva sangat sapati lieko ra tesai like farkaera dieko like it's a, it's a guest house we are living in this guest house <laughs> yeah but this guest house has a time limit हामीले यहाँ बस्न पाउने लिमिटेसन छ एन्ड त्यो सकियो टाइम सकिएपछि पनि फर्काउनु पर्छ सो होइन त्यो फर्काइदिया मात्र हो एन्ड देन यू चुज अनदर अनदर गेस्ट हाउस व्हाट डू यू थिंक इज गोइंग टु ह्यापन व्हेन वी डाई आई डोंट रियली थिंक टू मच अबाउट इट आई नो आई नो आई हैव टु यू नो वन डे आई हैव टु लीव दिस बॉडी Uh, but then due to your present uh, during the time when you're with this body what you do what you how you are um dealing with your emotions and so on there is certain uh, certain uh, tendencies ya yeah, uh, generate girls are justly that really carries on hmm that uh, that continues 
अब यो धेरै डिप दन दन जाउ किनभने फेरि म यहाँ प्रवचन दिन थाले जस्तो हुन्छ आई डोन्ट वान्ट गेट इन टु द्याट टु टु बट देन इन अर्डर टु गेट द राइट एक्सप्लेनेसन विद फ्रम द राइट पर्सन वुड बी मोर बेनिफिशियल फर पिपल टु लिसन टु रदर देन मी आई एम स्टिल इन द प्रोसेस अफ प्र्याक्टिसिङ सो व्हेन यु मीट व्हेन यु मीट आवर लिडर्स आई आई नो यु हैव टॉक्ड विथ मेजोरिटी यु मीन द पोलिटिकल लिडर्स या हजुर व्हाट डू यु सी इन देम I'm surprised you know because what you hear about them outside in the pe- paper news people mm. curse them and so on <laughs> but personally when I meet them they're just normal human being as I as I am so what's wrong with them bani hal pani mala dharo dharma mala dherai patak ara incident ma tapala sunaunchu lot of the time we we develop that image of them and we are agitated by that imagination of mm. ourselves don't we build up you know इसलिए हम तीखे भर्खर भर्खर अब माओवादी को सरकार भर्खर भर्खर आयो इसलिए हमें जी मंत्री होनी एनआरएन ने कैनाडा में एटा कार्यक्रम में मैं बोला थी वहाँ पर आने भो एंड देन यू नो वट आई स्टार्ट टू फील वॉज लाइक समथिंग ला म कसरी भेटने आई हेड फिलिंग दस आई डोट वॉन्ट मीट दिस पर्सन who is responsible for killing so many people when they help only to pre judgment you know pre judgmental image that i carried of this person hmm. actually it's my fault ni my imagination the my my bete koi chhaina sunya matra hun sunya matra hun and i was trying all different means to avoid meeting coming i mean like face, face to face, face with this person but then eventually i had no chance i mean no option at all before i saw this person this person ran towards me and said ani ji tapa ma petero kosto khushi lagyo and i was like lara kluru gar oh my god ma kosto papi rai chu you to he she's such a normal human being she's coming to me with such a big smile and i'm wide open yeah and i felt so bad about myself she's another human being and i was so agitated i was so uncomfortable because of my own way of thinking me ab usko karma le usle ke garyo tyo usko karma rai cha and but then how we affect ourselves with our own judge judgment towards these people you know and i that incident was such that i felt like that and um this much mo wahan sang kasto ghul milyo मैं गीत गाने मन पर्ने रहे नाच्न मन पर्ने रहे फूल को आँखा गीत गाइद वहाँ आई वॉज लाइक स्टनिस्ड एक्चुअली थिंग लाइक नर्मल ह्यूमन बिइंग एवरी वन हू विश टू हेप्पी एज बी यू हेप्पी एज आई एड आई डू एंड शी लवस टू बी फनी एज आई डू शी लवस टू सिंग एज आई डू शी लवस टू डेन्स एज आई डू शी इंजोइस फूड एज आई डू she's a normal human being but now how could you feel like that and and i was very ashamed of the way i was thinking but then of course i have come across different other neta ji or just like i was sorgi hamro krishna prasad patrai ji hamro or ko koirala giriza prasad giriza prasad koirala ji wahan le dherai maya garnu hunthyo malai seriously म अज टाड़ा टाड़ा भाग थे तीखे आपको प्री कंसेपलाइज एम तो जजमेंट ले वॉज अफ्रे दैट मानी म पोलिटिक्स में लगे भनला कि मैं कंग्रेस भनला कि भो तो उमेर में तस्त उमेर नचाइने डर थे बट दिन अब यह उमेर मत पुग्द जाना खेल जैसे कि केपी ओलीजी सब मैं चिंजान कर बाहेक वहाँ हम अन्य मंत्रीजी पूर्व मंत्रीजीस मेरे चिंजान भैर वहाँ कस्तो वेरी काइंडली दे गिव मी कॉल एंड दे हेव नो एजेंडा विथ मी आई हेव नो एजेंडा विथ दम आई दर नो पोलिटिकल एजेंडा नो पोजिशन एजेंडा नो पावर एजेंडा नो फाइनेंशियल एजेंडा इट्स प्योरली बेस्ड ऑन ह्यूमन टू ह्यूमन कनेक्शन एंड आई रिजॉइस ऑन दैट एंड आई फील ब्लेस्ड दैट people are happy with me people mm. are com- they, there are people who feel comfortable with me talking yeah. to me and i rejoiced on that instead of making me feel too too arrogant on arrogant on that subject i feel humbled yeah yeah and that that is there only possible because of my guru 
किनभने मेरो गुरुले सधैँ भन्थे कि इफ एभर यू फिल यू नो लाइक आई एम द वन जस्ट फाइन्ड द गुड रिजन एन्ड आई ट्राई टू फाइन्ड द गुड रिजन एन्ड आई डोन्ट फाइन्ड द गुड रिजन जस्ट बिकज आई एम फेमस नो दे आर फार मच मोर फेमस पिपल देर आउट देर इन द वर्ल्ड सो आई एम नथिंग इन फ्रेन देन अलिअलि पैसा छ अलिकति फाइनेन्सियल देर आर फार मच मोर रिच पिपल आउट देर यू नो फाइनेन्सियली अलिकति मैले मेरो कुरा चल्छ भन्ने पावर कुरा को हो र म मभन्दा पावरफुल कति छन् कति छन् व्याप्त छ नि सो देर आई डोन्ट आई ह्याभ डिफिकल्टी फाइन्डिङ गुड रिजन फर मी टू बी आर अगेन हो देर आर टाइम्स वेन आई फिल जोय देर आई फिल लाइक ओ हाउ ब्लेस्ड आई एम एन्ड दैट इज अल बिकज अफ माई गुरु आई ह्याड अ गुड गुड ब्रट अप आई थिङ्क विथ हिज ब्लेसिङ त्यतिवटा मलाई घमन्ड गर्ने मेरो गुड रिजन आई ह्याड अ ग्रेट टिचर इन माई लाइफ भन्ने हो त्यति मात्र छ अदरवाइज लाइफ इज unpredictable unreliable mm. very unreliable do you think everybody needs uh, to follow somebody or follow somebody's teachings um i don't know what to say on this but uh, inquisitive mind alikati rakhnu chai zaruri cha hm your spiritual path ma chai kina bhane yelle sarthak tulauna lai help garcha ha anything that you do or say or think it will help you to see the meaning in it the meaningful meaning in it titi ora tu just tera tera alikati dhyan jane kunai pani karak ya whoever inspires you or whoever encourages you in hmm. to that you can consider this person as a guru that helps it doesn't matter if that person is young or if that person is old no no कहिले कहिले त सानो बच्चामा पनि बुढो मान्छे भएको जस्तो कुराहरू गर्छ नि ज्ञान गुणको कुराहरू गऱ्यो भने आई मिन तर एउटा फोकल पोइन्ट भयो भने चाहिँ राम्रो एउटा कोच जस्तो लाइफ कोच अब अहिले मोडर्न ल्याङ्ग्वेजमा युज गर्दा त हामीलाई आध्यात्मिक गुरु पाउनु भनेको एउटा इट्स लाइक लाइफ कोच हु हु हेल्प्स यू टू डेभलप अल युअर क्यापासिटिज टू द मोस्ट एक्सटेन्डेड लेभल एन्ड एन्ड बी देयर टू पोइन्ट आउट युअर विकनेसेस एन्ड येट स्टिल प्रोटेक्ट यू with deep love i wish i wish people would find somebody like that but it's so hard kai kai hudaina ta kai kai afno bato afai khannu parcha ni tyo ta tara ali kati khulne bani garnu parcha raisa maile maile feel gareko kati pai time ma hamile afno afno judgment le aflai nai tyo parda lagaya jastai ni jastai jhyal ma parda lagaya pachi kotha ma andharo cha उज्यालो देखिन नि यू ह्याभ टू मेक द एफर्ट टू पर्दा अलिकति खोल्ने कोसिस गर्नुपर्छ यू सी फाइन्ड सो मच लाइट आउट साइड अझ त्योभन्दा अझ बेसी इन्जोय गर्ने हो भने त झ्याल खोल्नु पऱ्यो हावा शिरिर आएको आनन्द आनन्द उठाउनु पऱ्यो हो भएर यति झ्यालभित्र बस्दा त यति शिरिर म बाहिरै जान्छु भनेर नि फेरि बाहिर गएर त्यो त्यो होराइजनमा त्यो एम्बिसमा आफू पिस्नु खोज्यो भने खोजी आफूले गर्नुपर्छ यता त आउँदैन खोजी खोजी गर्न त आउँदैन होइन मलाई चाहिँ के लाग्छ भने एडभाइस इज फ्रीमा आउँदो रहेछ के लट अफ एडभाइस इज लट अफ पिपल दैट्स द चिपेस्ट थिङ दैट पिपल क्यान गिभ एडभाइस इज डियरले डियरले इट डिपेंड्स अपन यु आफूमा डिपेंड गर्दो रहेछ त्यो एडभाइस लिने कि त्यो एडभाइस नलिने भनेर के एन्ड द लट अफ द टाइम व्हेन यु रिसीव एडभाइस इज विदाउट आस्किंग फर इट एन्ड यु फील लाइक इट्स मोर अफ अ क्रिटिसिजम रादर देन अ एडभाइस Hmm. you feel very awkward and imposed dabab ma pare as to feel on sir but then when you the day when you feel like i need some advice hmm. that's good that means you don't uh, you really feel that i need to learn something more yeah. there's something that i don't know i believe that needs to be open till the time you die true very true very true very true you can you can learn from ev- anything and everything you can learn from nature you can learn from human beings you can learn from animals you can learn from everything and anything that exists in this planet very true you know even your 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 kapal matra grey hona sa that's what is the sign eh you're growing old that yeah. means you have your time is being limited hmm. time is running out when you एउटा अनित्यको कुरा गर्दाखेरि इम्पर्मनेन्सको कुरा गर्दा त बट देन इन मोडर्न टाइम नोबडी लाइक्स टू टक अबाउट डेथ यू नो 
डेथलाई आत्मसात त गर्छ मान्छे मर्नु पर्छ भनेर सबैले कुरा गर्छ त्यो बानी विलासको लागि मात्र भए पनि नि बुद्धि विलासको लागि मात्र भए पनि नोबडी विल कम एन्ड से दैट आई विल लिव फरएभर एन्ड वेल सम पीपल डेफिनेटली थिंक दे विल लिव फरएभर दे बिहेव लाइक दैट दे बिहेव लाइक दैट दे डू बट देन दे प्रोबेब्ली माइट नॉट से दैट आई विल लिव फरएभर बट देन दे बिहेव दे प्रिटेंड दैट आई एम गोइंग टू बी हियर फरएभर एंड एवर एंड एवर सबै मर्नु पर्छ भन्छ तर म बाहेक भन्छु कि यस्तो मान्छेहरुको बारेमा कहिले कहीँ देख्दा कहिले कहीँ सुन्दाखेरि हुन्छ नि म छक्क अचम्म पर्छु कि म किन भन्ने होला यस्तो के जान्छ होला त्यो मान्छेको दिमागमा व्हाट प्लेज इन देयर माइन्ड दैट दे बिलिभ दैट दे आर इमोर्टल या या अगेन दैट गिव्स यू अ चान्स टु से थैंक गॉड आई एम नॉट दैट स्टुपिड coming back to our common sense and coming yeah. back to our stupid part yeah. uh, a few things that i wanted to um, talk to you about was which when it comes to music right mm-hmm. when it comes to all the amazing things that you've uh, done in your life mm-hmm. so far and there again limitless possibilities mm-hmm. which or performing where do you think put you right on the map I'm not very calculative on yeah. about these kind of things, you know. Once I'm on st- I mean before I go on stage and then I'm aware of the stage, the audience size yeah. and everything I would say okay, it's an information I that I would like to have. But then once I'm on stage and I close my eyes and start singing, nothing is there. Mm. I just sing. And then when I open my eyes, when I see their reaction, then I rejoice. Yeah. I feel like wow, good. I'm glad they enjoyed. And then the outcome of that event itself is not just calculated by the size of the audience or the applause, the loudness of the applause, but then also the resources that has ge- been generated, what I can do with that back at home. Hmm. That is also, um, also something that I, you know, value and calculate. But other than that, oh, where was the best concert? Where were I had the biggest audience? Tikura ma khase ma te ti soj ni khalko chai hoina. Hmm. I just jaan bhai te yo I enjoy but once I'm out of sight of that place and people <laughs> I'm out of they are out of my mind huh. and I'm there where I am that's what I do living in the moment that's pretty much uh, you can almost say that now in the 21st century now currently after or in between covid we're forgetting to live in the moment or are we are we realizing that we should live in the moment where do we stand now Hmm. I don't know if I can s- say as if being very wise on that matter and saying that oh I'm living in the moment it's not like that. Hmm. Um I'm I don't know. The other way around if you put it maybe I'm lazy. Hmm. You know? I just carry I mean I as it comes. As I, it comes. As it comes. About to say yes, that. Yeah, as it comes. and then last minute la oh mai te garnu parcha i mean yeah do you you're a malai malai se kira mar lagcha bhane about i i i miss performances now yeah i miss performances in front of uh, if it doesn't it doesn't matter if that person's one person or if that person if there are thousands of people mm-hmm. i miss that performance being mm-hmm. on stage part mm-hmm. you the know applaud, the sound of the applause oh, and so on <laughs> the sound of when when i'm saying something and people are quiet and listening and then as soon as i yell something and i go like all right everybody you need to do this say namaste and everybody goes crazy uh-huh. i miss that part now I you see. know and do i don't know how it's going to be once uh, all of this uh, can i say dark times is it dark times it's just a time transition yeah when once once we are out of this because any in anything in this world like we have a beginning and an end this also has a beginning oh, and yes, end oh yes definitely to yeah. the world. it's that's the biggest reality yeah. truth yeah it, it will not last forever yeah what happens more than once this ends I, you know i i want i want to get back on that stage. on that on that stage i want to mm-hmm. get back on that wagon i want to get back on that and uh, i don't know create more uh-huh. create more do you I, do you feel like in, within you do you do you feel like creating a lot more 
there was few moments I felt like I, I I'm craving for a new song. Mm. But then I I feel very blessed. Then uh, Kali Prasad with his composition, and then um, Bal Guru Aditya na Aditya, when he's a guru, and then he's such a young age, but then he's really big one. He com- he has written a bhajan for Shivaji, mm-hmm. and I was approached to sing that. Mm. Shiva wasn't, and I really was so happy, and I sang that, and I'm, that quenched my thirst mm. already. Um, I like the biggest fantasy or desire that is for me is to go into nature. That's it. I noya noya tanawa no. I have been fantasizing about it, but then fantasy is just a fantasy. The reality, the reality, the hoi na. Kira jati sajilo fantasy ma amle imagine gono sa sam tar reality ma basta jati sajilo mo hoi na. But then, in order to really test it, I went up there in the Dharma Lake Tiragoi, and I I used to be afraid of being all alone in dark. I had that little bit of problem. Katmandu ma ekli building bidra ekli ghar bidra ekli bunu bani. That's not like being alone. And but being alone in jungle, the 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 idea was not dolacha. But then I I I finally did it. Yeah. I faced my fear, and. Uh, Now I have gained the confidence that I I can live alone. <laughs> yeah. So and yeah. then I'm very happy about that actually. That realization that I can live alone. Hmm. And the andhero sanga the door titi door lagdo unda na reso. The imagination of that door itself is f- scary. But then the real door itself is not as scary as it's as I imagine. So I'm very happy about that, and I want to. I'm excited, and I want to go back and f- face that again and again. <laughs> it, was it the darkness or was it the loneliness? No, it's not the loneliness. It's uh, when it when it's dark, and then your imagination, your mind starts to function in such a speed of unknown things. You know, to be karma to kiki. कार्टून बड़ा एक पीछे अर्क चैनल चेंज करे जो कि आदो रहे दैट समटाइम इज वेरी डिस्टर्बिंग तो फेस करें नाउ आई आई कम अक्रॉस द पॉइंट दैट आई कैन हेन्डल दैट एंड आई कैन स्पीड तो उसको स्लो डाउन कर मिलद रहे मैं सकद रहे एंड आई टेस्ट दैट द स्पीड अफ थट्स या द स्पीड अफ थट्स स्पीड अफ इमेजिनेशन स्पीड अफ अनोन इमेजिनेशन स्पीड अफ द फियर एंड So I I know this thing now. I'm in peace with this. <laughs> <laughs> knowing your knowing your fears and trying to control it is overcome a, or oh, yeah. subdue, let's say. Yeah, yeah. That that is an art in itself. Yeah, and my little mozzarella soki. So I'm very happy. <laughs> you patted yourself in the yeah. back, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> and for the first time after like almost thirty, forty years, I could I did cooking myself. Daura, bada, bai, bada, daura leara, agu baalera, khana pakaera. Ati pachi tu agu khana pakai sa kibis tu bahar logera. Afeli maji ko ani luga kati bisong tisong borso pachi afno luga complete luga bana na. Afeli dhoe ko ani. Yeah, I felt so good, so good, so good to it the point that uh-huh. oh, how wonderful it is, kind of feeling. It brings you back to your roots, doesn't it? Yeah, it's probably the process of going back to nature, hmm. and that's where I, I can really, really be comfortably happy, and that happiness is not so expensive. Beautiful. Yeah. So beautiful. So beautifully <laughs> said. So well said. Uh, When it comes to promoting Nepal, uh-huh. you've played a big part in it. Uh, it's my responsibility, and mm-hmm. it it became like a byproduct thing. Um, of course, then without a single doubt, um, I love my country, mm-hmm. and I'm I feel blessed that I'm really born here, where I met my teacher, where I had everything, and today whatever identity, so-called identity yeah. that I carry internationally, it's from here. Oh. you know and uh, i'm very grateful and i do feel that i i owe it back you know and without any hesitation without any calculation it's my duty and uh, it's an honor to you know play that role of taking the responsibility towards my people my nation 
my country. And, um, and I pray that this is the land that I will be burnt. Yeah, and be reborn. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. And that's what I feel very blessed, actually. I get emotional if I talk about it. <laughs> there are many situations where I was lured a little, I should say, mm. by um, some fans and some well-wishers, you know, who were very wealthy and so on, who claimed to care about me so much, mm. and love me so much and so on. In fact, my own younger brothers who lives in Canada, they tried their best to make me stay there, uh, saying that, oh, Nepal is not safe, you know. Especially during those times when there was a Maoist insurgency was there. Hmm. <sighs> but uh, nothing was strong enough to make me f think that I should leave this country. And um, and above all, I felt like, okay, the filmy dialogues and then, and I, I said, I used to use that word, you know, like, and I said, I used to use that word, you know, like, I mean it. I live by it. This is it? Yeah, this is it. Nepal is it? No doubt? No doubt. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt at all. Same, same. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I don't know. Paristiti ki uncha ki tha sahi na. Ab aaj ko din ma you you look at uh, Afghanistan, how uh, the situation has turned out to be where people can risk their life in order to get away from their own birthplace. To to din Nepal ma koi lena house. Otherwise, no way. When we have such amazing people like you, to din house then. I pray. I pray. I I love challenges. Yeah, I mean, that is actually a source of excitement towards life, yeah. of, you know, your existence, I guess. You know, there were a few incidents that took place last couple of years ago, which really gave me challenge. But then it, sh it even tested my loyalty you know, my this just now what I mentioned to you about yeah. my mindset towards my love and my my dedication towards my country, my people, and this land where I'm born. There was a time. Am I doing the right thing? But then, thanks to my guru, actually my jun sanskar, my guru bada pai, my I proved the other people wrong. I'm here. I'm. This is my country. I'm here. All. One nikhal ko tu tu confident tu piri determination tu sankalpa tu drid kevansa. Confirmation is back. That's great. Yeah. And uh, yeah. this is it. We were born here. Yeah, but then uh, mm -hmm. learning once burnt lesson learned one nipa nipa. We were born here, yeah. and we're definitely gonna die here. No shadow of a doubt on that. Yeah. Yeah, I can't think of a better place than this place, really. I've seen the world. Yes, trust yeah. me. Yeah. yeah, I've seen I've seen the best part of the world, so called. Yeah. Yeah, but when it's yours, it's yours. I love it. I love yeah. the way. I want to end. I want to end with this. Yeah, that okay. was such well said, and uh, it was a pleasure, ma'am. Thank you. It was a pleasure, and uh, we. I feel blessed, don't you, buddy? Wow! Look at look at his face. <laughs> yeah. We feel blessed. I didn't feel like I was interviewed. Actually, I uh, just I'm glad you made me feel very comfortable. Thank you, really. Thank you very much, ma'am. And uh, again, we feel blessed that you're here. And uh, uh, I have very few words. I have very few words, and uh, my heart feels very light. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming over. Thank you very much for your time, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Wow! If you love what we are doing, make sure that you subscribe and turn on notifications. This episode is brought to you by Pulsar.